stretches. And he will put a performance prediction of 947 in the handicap. Start for that Buick. Oh, and Neighbor pulls two cherries at the bottom of the tree this weekend. Man, wait a minute, Mrs. Neighbor, 001 red. You can't yell at him for that. 001 red, that was a pink light, man. Edgar Perez out of Hall, New Jersey in the left lane. Both Corvettes won, I'll tell you, a champion in his own right, EFI Edgar, but Corda is a tough guy right here. Al Corda, Elk Mountain, Wisconsin. His Chevrolet Corvette rolls in. C, EFI, it's a heads up, 1050. Run, and there they go. Edgar seemed to take deep on the tree. It may have paid off with a good reaction time for him. Now it's about bumper to bumper, plastic to plastic. Vet to vet, 51, Corda runs under at 48. Fourteen in qualifying. Viz over there, number thirteen. So look how they meet on a ladder. Handicap's going to go to E. Nostalgia Muscle Car, twelve fifty in the Lando Lakes area. Green lights are flying, man. And I'll tell you what, Vizzo is on the balls. Bodie better have that Cobra Jet parred up and ready to go down on the top end. It is a long drive down there. The wind light goes to Vizzo. Jerry Vizzo. They both run under the index by a tenth of a second, man. this 540 cubic inches he's in C factory experimental with a handicap head start will be the E nostalgia super stock Ford Fairlane lights are down Fairlane is out of here good and it's over dual does it on a red light he puts himself on the trailer 043 red and look at the old 31 green top end charge runs under at 1198 nine and a big big charge down there for that team Three hundred fifty-nine cubic inches of small block Chevrolet sounded good. Alan Von Anen over here on a Pennsville, New Jersey, the '79 Mustang into the beams. Lights are down. Oh man, Duncan may have struck the tire a little bit, spinning it, but he may still be in this one down here to 60 foot. They are almost identical to the eighth of a mile. In a little bit of a charge in the Mustang. A Von Anen gets around at 10:46, 131 miles per. inch tires on the back end. It is all about who is going to get the starting line and let their car eat. Will they hook up or will they book out of here? Watch this. Lights are down. Scavo takes him right off the line. Hicks never even moves and it looks like Scavo will shut it off. Save pieces or something going awry with the car as he will coast to a victory. 10.20 seconds at 92 miles per hour. All metal, big motors, and uh, the fans, I'm telling you, this one's for you. This is going to be a good race. Coletta's in. Jarrett's in. Lights are down. Look at Jarrett moving hard to the right. Coletta's going to try to wheel to the center line. He's got to get out of it, baby. Top end. Jarrett gets the win. 735, 187 miles per hour. The that 3,000 plus horsepower and put it down track. On the other hand, the 57 that's gone 6.001 seconds during the number one spot deserves to be in that right lane over there all weekend. Stevenson went 6.08 seconds. He's been in that left lane. They call it home right now, and if they are going to get a win, it's going to be big after watching that burnout here.
Here comes Adler to the top of the beams. Free stage, ready to go. Stevenson gets it. Falling stage, Adlerson breaks it up. Stevenson goes red, shuts it up. Randy Adler, your champion at the Super Bowl. And he runs 6.30 to show it at 228 miles per hour.